fish are delicious. Mmm, a nice trout with an herb crust and some fresh lemon juice on it. Mmm. Of course, humans aren't the only ones who like to eat fish. They're an important part of ecological food webs. Consider this food web from Yellowstone National Park. A food web is a diagram that depicts who eats whom in an ecosystem. The arrows point from the food to the eater. So this food web shows that bears and otters, osprey and eagles, and various ground nesting birds all like to eat cutthroat trout. Of course, food webs can change if the ecological system changes. In the 1990s, a non-native type of trout was introduced in Yellowstone National Park. And this 2019 paper documented some of the wide-ranging effects that occurred after the new trout was introduced. The non-native trout took over Yellowstone Lake. You can see in this plot how the numbers of non-native trout increased over time since their introduction in the 1990s. I mean, it was like exponential increase. But uh, in the 2010s, Yellowstone Wildlife Management started introducing widespread netting and killing of the non-native trout to try to preserve the native ecosystem. Because here's the deal, the non-native trout eat the native cutthroat trout. So as the number of non-native trout went up, the number of cutthroat trout went down. And that had several impacts on the ecosystem. Cutthroat trout eat zooplankton, which are tiny animals that live in the lake water and eat algae. By the way, if you ever get the chance to check out lake water under the microscope, do it. It's amazing the tiny things that live in lake water. Anyway, since there are fewer cutthroat trout eating zooplankton, the amount of zooplankton has gone up over time. And since zooplankton eat algae, more zooplankton has meant less algae over time. So less algae means the water is clearer. Think about that. The introduction of one fish species in this lake, through all the connections in the food web, led to clearer water. That's crazy. And remember all those animals that like to eat fish? With fewer cutthroat trout around, they had a harder time finding food. Because cutthroat trout live near the surface of the lake and move into streams to spawn, which makes it easy for animals to catch and eat them. But the non-native trout lives deeper in the lake, so they're harder for animals to catch. For osprey, which only eat fish, fewer cutthroat trout has correlated with a dramatic decrease in the number of osprey nests around Yellowstone Lake. As for otters, the scientists found less cutthroat trout in the poop of the otters and more amphibians in the otter poop. So think about that. If you're a salamander that lives in a mountain stream, you're more likely to be eaten by an otter because some fish got introduced in a lake nearby. Isn't that amazing? Scientists who study food webs like this can help us understand how ecosystems are connected and how changing one species can affect an entire ecosystem. Makes you wonder what other ecosystems have been affected by a change in just one species, huh?